What's up, everyone? Welcome to the CV Show, episode 20. We've got an amazing show for you today. We're going to talk about the San Francisco Choice Fine Art Weekend. Last weekend, with Mr. Charles Carroza in the house. Prime One Studio has delayed. Statues again. Um, we've covered this once before, but should they be more open with us? Should they be telling us why these statues have actually been delayed? Uh, we're going to look at what's been going on on the CV website this week, what the new news and pre-orders are, ask the team for their impact, input. Um, we're also going to talk about WonderCon. I fly out in two days. Jason is actually at the airport right now in Australia. He flies out today. Paradox flies out on Tuesday, same as me. It's going to be an amazing event. We're going to talk about what's going to be going on there, what we're going to be do, doing for the week and for the weekend. So firstly, I'd like to introduce the rest of the people I've got on the panel today. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce our guest, Mr. Charles Carroza. How are you doing, mate? You're back from San Francisco. Did you get a tan? <laughs> what's up everybody yes uh thank you for having me i'm very happy to be here and uh bring everybody up to speed and uh tell you all the ins and outs of what ian and chris did oh god we don't need to see that. <laughs> seriously do you want to reprimand the one um also we have on today mr paradox nerd how are you doing mate you ready for your flight are you, you took your pills you got your vaccinations you got your visas do you need anything else <laughs> what my underwear has been ironed and ready to go. So I'm ready to uh, enjoy WonderCon. So what's up, guys? How's it going? Iron, iron underwear, the very unsuccessful <laughs> reading. <laughs> <underwear. laughs> and also we have Mr. Fog Anderson, the emperor himself is here. We should double our efforts to make sure we don't look bored. How are you doing, Fog? What are you up to? The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. <laughs> you look a little different. Have you been working out? <laughs> you look a, you look a, you're looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. You, were, you need to take some lozenges. Like you've brought, you've brought some right, right, guys. Um, First, we've got a new thing. We're going to basically look on this Collective Us website. We're going to look at what's been posting, the news and pre-orders this week, and then I'm going to ask the guys what their favourite thing was to uh, basically what, what's been going on in the world of collecting. So, guys, let's have a quick look. What do you think um, to these for this week? So, firstly, we have the Prime One Hush Superman. This is the fabric cape version. The sculptor cape already sold out. There's 750. That sold out last week. This is the fabric cape version. Now... I personally really like this fabric cape version. I really think it's a really nice piece. Um, you do have a bit of an extras with this version. You have the rotatable base, which means that you can turn it to fit your display of any character that you're with. We also have the fabric cape. It's going to be a lot easier to display because you're not as strict, restricted by the dimensions of the, the width and the depth that the sculpted cape has. I mean, Thor, what do you think to this piece? I know you, you, you really are a big Prime 1 fan. Is that correct? Uh, that would be my cohort, but um, <clears throat> I really like this piece. And one thing I really do like about it, I know it's something small, but uh, to to date the, uh, the the sideshow PF, the original one, that was my favorite one. But I think one thing it was missing is that uh, yellow shield in the back, and a lot of times they miss that. And I, I like that element that they've added for this, and uh, I really like it. Uh, but for me, if I had this, I would want the I display it with the uh, the uh, heat beam eyes, you know. I, I love that look too, but I, I like it. It's very nice. It's 42 inches tall. It's 999 US dollars. There isn't an edition size on it at the minute, so you, you're safe at the moment. Um, so, yeah, it's a really good piece. It's been uh, probably one of the, the most covered pieces this week that we've seen in the community. Um, we also saw production photos for the classic Evil Inn by Sideshow Collectibles. I grew up on He-Man. I'll give Thor a bit of a view before we go into it else. I, oh, grew, up, I grew up on He-Man. <laughs> um, this is a, this That's is a nice character. view. I got my ones over I here. Had, I actually had all the stat, all the little figures from the He-Man in a big box when I originally. I wish I'd have kept them because they're probably worth a lot of money right now. Um, so yeah, all this is Evil Inn, the classic version. We've already had their um, concept version already. So that's the production photos for that. We had an announcement that Thor probably is interested in, and PJ is probably interested in Paradox uh -oh. Nerd. We've had Boba Fett, <laughs> legendary scale figure. This looks like the exact same sculpt as the life size, but obviously half scale. Uh, Paradox, are you picking this up? Can you resist picking this up? <laughs> Oh man, I, I'm really trying hard to resist uh, picking this uh, the legendary scale, man. It looks great. Um, from judging from the armor, I'm guessing it's it looks like it's from Empire Strikes Back, right? Is that is that correct? Uh, it's, 
The jetpack is what tells. I can't see the jetpack. Yeah, I was trying it, to look it at it. It's Empire. Yeah, it's Empire. Yeah, it's Empire, yes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks great, man. But I don't know. I have to see how much it's going to cost. I hope it's in the same ballpark as that Yoda. Uh, legendary yep. scale, but I, I, mean, I, I, I highly doubt it. That ain't gonna happen. I know. No. I um, mean, it's going, up, it's going up for pre-order on Thursday, March the fifteenth, uh, around noon Pacific time, noon and three pm. So uh, make sure you RSVP. Go on the Collectivers website if you want that. It does look like the exact same figure that you get for the live side is just basically shrunk down. Yeah, um, got a bit, got a bit of an inner, inner, inner space action going on there. Um, bit of a nineties, eighties reference there. If anyone gets it. Now, this is a pre-order that got me really excited, and I couldn't believe this was ever made. An S replica from Sideshow Collection. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this really came out of nowhere. <laughs> this is one of the dream pieces that no one ever thought would ever be made. And um, I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for finally making it happen, for making so many dreams come true. I mean, I shed <laughs> so many tears over this. But well, they had to. They had to do something. Like if you guys remember, way back in the day, there was either a rumor or they came out with something uh, that they were doing the apple. Do you remember that when they were yeah, going to make yeah, yeah. they were going to make that apple? And I, I was watching all the the posts. Everybody's like, "Oh, can't wait to get it! Can't wait to get it. guys! It's an apple! It's right." It's an apple. <laughs> Just Go right to your local yeah. Whole Foods. <laughs> It's 50 apples you can bring home. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, uh, to be fair, I do think this is a real... Is, well, people will pick this up. And, oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's not the most exciting reveal this week. But fair play for him actually doing it. It's probably cost them not much to make it, and it'll, we'll sell it. As long as it's not $700, then you'll probably get a lot of people picking it up. Well, what's the edition size on this? <laughs> <laughs> they have edition size. <laughs> yeah. Gone no is there an exclusive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's the exclusive? <laughs> if, to be fair, if they make 50 of them, they will sell out like hotcakes for people. The edition size lovers will be like, oh, my God, there's 50. Let's pick one up. <laughs> so um, we also had Loki from Thor Ragnarok, the um, another Hot Toys masterpiece. There's been a bit of bit of backlash about the face sculpt um, on this, but to be honest, I think it's one a really good one. I don't yeah, know what they're I looking do. at, but I think that's Tom Hiddleston to a T. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you get the Serta mask, you get the Tesseract, you get loads of different switch outs. Um, it looks like a, I, I always I always like Loki as a character, and I think if I collected Hot Toys, I'd probably pick this one up. I mean, PJ, you collect Hot Toys. What do you think to this one? Um, it looks it looks great, but you know what? It, there's so many Lokis out there. It's just uh, they're probably going to make another Loki, like for the uh, what's that called, the Infinity War. So for me, it looks great. I mean the the hot the likeness is there, but I'm probably just gonna wait until Infinity War comes out and see what they have in in, in terms of uh, another Loki. Yeah, you, you can, know, you can get you can get the one where Thanos is putting his hand through his chest. <laughs> yeah. <of> the <laughs> oh man, yeah, that looked amazing. Um, we had a new art print go up this week, and this is a cut of the dead piece, probably one of the most underrated um, lines that we have in collecting, and this is the Imperials of the Flesh art print. Now, this looks really nice. This actually does. This is by Alex Hawley. Um, what do you think? For, for, you, you, you're, you're a fan of the Court of Dead, but you don't collect it, right? No, I got one. I actually got one on pre-order. I got the uh, Kia uh, Warbringer coming. But uh, this here, this looks like more like Rodney Speed because he, he already has Shard. But it's nice, great looking Pete. Yeah, it goes perfect with the, uh, the Queen. <clears throat> Yeah, I think they've got four coming. Like you see, he's got four. Alex Hawley's done four different ones. So, yeah, got, so I think Call of the Dead's a really amazing thing. This is $250, um, 100 limited edition. It's expected to ship between March and April 2018. So, um, get get on that if you would like it. It's on the Collectiverse website. So, go and check out the pre order section. Uh, we then have something from Pop Culture Shock and something from Gaming, which is something we've been dipping our toes in lately. And this is the Guile statue from Pop Culture Shock. Um, I don't know if Street Fighter was never my most popular game. I was more of a Mortal Kombat kind of guy. But I really do like this. I know there's been a few different versions. I don't know where he gets his hair cut or what he uses, but he needs to tell me because that is not moving anywhere. <laughs> if you, if you think. I mean, I, I mean, Charles, do you pick up any gaming pieces or what do you think to this piece by Pop Culture Show? Um, Pop Culture Shock, they've they've definitely stepped up their game. I'm I'm not a gamer in any way, shape, or form. I stopped with Nintendo, so I'm showing my age right now. Get yourself um, a switch. Get yourself a switch. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, no, I mean, I think they they definitely got the likeness with this piece. Um, I really wasn't uh, into fighter games either. I was into you know, I was a Zelda guy and all that stuff. But uh, it looks nice, man. It really does look nice. Uh, you got to give credit where credits due. Well, that's four hundred seventy four ninety nine, and it's three hundred limited edition. Expect to ship March and May two thousand nineteen. So, if you would like, like it on the Collectors website and check that out. Um, Pop Culture Shock have stepped up their game lately, so it's nice to see because they, they do make some amazing stuff. Um, we had the Joker Premium Format figure by Sideshow Collectibles that went up for pre-order. That's six hundred and forty dollars um, US, and there's no limitation on that at the minute. Scheduled for release January two thousand nineteen to March two thousand nineteen. Now, this is one where I started out not liking it. I started not liking it. The first images I wasn't crazy about. And the more that the detail came into focus, the more that I saw of the base, what the actual thing he is on, is doing, um, I started to fall in love with it more. I mean, PJ, what paradox, what do you think? I, I call him PJ, it's paradox to everybody else. He's, that's my name. Don't <laughs> it. Paradox, what do you think to this? Um, I mean... It looks great. I mean, I, I love Joker's one of my favorite uh, DC villains of all time. I'm sure a lot of people can uh, relate to that. Uh, it's just 640, 650 bucks. I, I'm trying to, it, it looks great, but I don't know, man. Uh, it, I don't know if I could, yeah. I don't well, know. It, I'm not it, too it, sure. It does, I, I, it's just... a, it does come with a swap out portrait. You get the more classic portrait of the Joker look. You get uh, the good Batsy cake and everything. So. You do get two exclusives technically with it, the cake and the portrait. It's, it's, it's not a magazine laid on a piece of brick. You know what I mean? You do get a decent yeah. exclusive. With it. it does look good with the Harley. If you're buying the Harley, I think you need to pick this up. Yeah, I was going to yes. say. Yep. You, definitely need, you definitely need the Harley and the Joker together. Yeah. But it looks great. I mean, I love the base. That's a very unique base. You know? Um, well, it, well, if you look, it's actually, what is it? Is it actually the Gotham City symbol or something? What is that? Yeah, it's like the city of Gotham, doesn't it? Like a sort of a crest or something. Yeah, and he's he's punching it. It's like a it's like a punch bouncer thing. Yeah, and so. that's like a pogo stick. Is that? Is he yeah, sitting on a pogo like stick? A, right. It looked like he's like converted a jackhammer to a pogo stick. Mm -hmm. and he's put like pedals on it and everything. So, uh, what do you well, think, I, Thor? Well, I like it. I I prefer. It's not exactly for me. If I if I, I always wanted a Joker, but I want like a more serious. Kind of menacing looking one. This one is kind of you know he's kind of jolly, which is cool. You know that's part of him too. I, if I were to get it, I, I prefer the uh, the the classic portrait. Yeah, in my I opinion. Agree. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> but uh, it, it is nice, very detailed, very you know vibrant colors. You know, very nice piece. Well, I say, mm -hmm. if I pick this up, go over to the Collectiverse website and remember that any commissions the Collectiverse make on any pre-orders up until July the first goes to the Collectiverse Give Back camp campaign, which is basically. All the commissions we make and everything we make on the just giving, um, we're going to tally up and we're going to round up and we're going to share between four different children's hospitals and we're all going to go out to the nearest toy store, buy all toys for these hospitals, take them down and hand them to the children themselves. So, so yeah, so anything that we make for the next six months of any pre-orders on the site, we're going to give to the kids. So we're just trying to do a bit, bit more for the collective us and give a bit back and do something good with what we make of everybody. Um, we have... Some pre-order details for the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Now, Miles Morales is not my favourite Spider-Man, but I know he is for some. Um, this is basically going to be up for pre-order on the March 22nd, which is a Thursday, as usual, between noon and 3pm. Um, Charles, do you, are you a Miles Morales fan? I know you've got, you know you've got a Spider-Man print um, with all the different Spider-Mans on it, so... Mm -hmm. I what the way when this pre-order came out and I looked at it, it for me obviously you see uh, collect statues as well I'm not just the art guy but uh, he to me he looks better on a canvas than he does on a statue but again I, I can't the, the pictures that they're releasing I really can't get a, a good a good fix on it so maybe when more pics come out or. Uh, the release actually comes out. Maybe for me, it, it's it would be a pass. It's not really my. I'm a I'm an old school Spidey guy. I like the the mm -hmm. red and blue. Yeah. Can, can I just make a quick? I just saw uh, some pictures online real quick of his pose, and I noticed it's the same pose as Venom. It's a Venom. Yeah. 
come on. who's posing for these for these uh, artists? It, the sad thing is, there's a lot <laughs> of that going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, but, well, to be fair, it's not just sideshow. It's uh, most companies need to just maybe up it a bit creatively with the yeah, poses. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah. Um, hot toys, but something a bit different for people who are not just in statues. Um, Infinity War has been the big talk this week. I did a trailer reaction for it. It was our first trailer reaction on the channel. I was still trying to get all the equipment set up. It kind of came out. I wasn't ready, so it was the best I could do at the time. I'll try and do better next time, people. But Infinity War is a movie that. I feel like now everybody is waiting for. I feel like quite a bit sorry for Han Solo movie and uh, Deadpool coming after it because I still feel like this will still have speed when those two come out. I feel like this is going to be a Black Panther where it's going to keep going for a month. So it'll be interesting to see where the box office lands for those two once this comes out. But we've got the Cosbabies, which is a Hot Toys line that not a lot of people, well, I say not a lot of people, but not a lot of people I know are into, but there is quite a lot of people that collect them. Um, Parox, do you, do you know anybody that collects Cosbabies, and do you think this is a, this is sort of a collectible that people are interested in, as much as, obviously, the, the figures that Hot Toys do? Um, to be honest, I, I really don't know anybody that collects the Cosbabies, but they look they look cute, <laughs> you know? Uh, I think their price points around like fifty bucks. If I, if I yeah, not. we we have to remember. Like, yeah, we have to remember that not everybody can collect like four hundred dollar statues and stuff. Which is which is another reason why I feel like Iron Studios at the minute are killing it with their one tenth line. Because yeah, I ordered four. Of Absolutely. Them. And, like Iron Studios mm-hmm. have really hit that point price point of okay, I want resin, I want it to look amazing, but I don't want to be paying four hundred dollars. Want to pay a hundred dollars. So, mm-hmm. like, the, the, I mean, and their Infinity War line, the Thanos that I've seen, I think is going to literally fly off the shelf. So they yeah. are hitting a, they are hitting a market because people are getting priced out by other companies. Nine Studios are just lapping it up. They're just picking up the pieces, man. They're just like, yeah, okay, you're going to price people out. Well, we're going to put a statue out. Yeah, it's smaller, but yeah, the details the same, and we're going to put it out a hundred dollars. So yeah, I just like, I just have to say is that Iron Studios is really really dis. Killing it. They're one of the most underrated statue companies out there. You know, everyone talks about Sideshow and XM and, you know, Prime One. But people are forgetting that Iron Studios is making such amazing statues. And if you look at those 110 scale statues and look at their head sculpts, I wish that could translate to bigger scale uh, statues. It's amazing what can, they're doing. Can I say as well, no one's noticed the spoiler alert, but why does four in half of these yeah, so it- have his eye back? Hmm. I think there's some no. This, I don't know anything. I don't know if this is true. This is not a spoiler. I am not in touch with Marvel. Kevin Feige is not my best friend. But basically, why does Thor have his eye back? I feel like there's some. There was some set photos ages ago of Captain America in his Avengers outfit, his original Avengers outfit from the first Avengers film. I feel like Doctor Strange is using that time thing somehow, and he'll hmm. get Thor his eye back. I feel like this is why we see in a lot of the toys, Thor has his eye in some of them, he doesn't have his eye in others. I feel like the Chris Emsworth is too pretty to put an eye patch on. I'm sorry, and I'm, a, I'm a guy, and even I said that. So, I mean, so, so for marketing wise, and then they'll get the ladies in the seats, they're going to give him his eye back, I feel like. Yeah. Um, we had production photos of the Joker Face of Insanity. That went up this week. That's still available for $350. It's a 1000 limited edition on that, so you can probably still pick that up. It's available now. Um, I really like the production photos on this. I feel like these production photos are better than the actual one that came out that, that we had originally. I don't know why. I, I seem to be more drawn more to these production photos. I feel like if you collect the ba- Batman, like Chris Michael, I feel like this is something he should pick up. Um is this like a piece of art, Charles? I feel like this could be a piece of art. This is more <laughs> art than most statues for me. Yeah, it, it definitely could be because it 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 shows like that. Um, I've got a couple of buddies that picked this up. My one my one good buddy uh, added it to his display, and he's probably one of the biggest Harley Quinn collectors that I know. Basically, anything Harley Quinn that comes out, he's a buyer, and he put this not to jump in from what we were talking about before. There's another little company that's knocking it out of the park too. Tweeterhead, their mm-hmm. pieces yeah. are unbelievable, okay? He put this mask next to the new Harley Quinn from Tweeterhead. And I got to say, guys, it displays nice. It really does. Yeah, I mean, I, it feels like a death mask to me. 
Yeah. So who who is the guy that had the desk mask on? It was in the film, um, the Tom Hanks film, the last one that came out, Dan Brown, the camera was called, the, the, the virus one. Um, it, somebody had a death mask in that. I can't remember who it was. And basically... So Dillinger. Uh, <laughs> Dillinger death mask. No, it was the guy who predicted the world, Dante's death mask. That's it, Dante. Oh, Dante's yeah. Dante's Inferno, yeah. It was Dante's death mask. And that's what it feels like, Joker's death mask, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice piece. I'm actually more impressed with it than I thought I would be. Um, we had something this week that Sideshow have announced they're doing a board game. They're doing a Kickstarter for a board game. We know they did a Kickstarter for a, t- a video game not long ago, and that didn't work. Now they're doing a Kickstarter for a board game um, called Mourner's Call, and it's with Project Raygun, who obviously deal with these sort of things like board games and stuff. Do we think this is a good idea? Do we think this will actually sell? The video game idea didn't pass, but would a board game be more caught of the dead than a video game? It's obviously cheaper to make, I suppose, than a video game. It wouldn't cost as much as it in util in resources. Um, Paradox, would you pick this up? Uh, if I don't know. See, I'm not. I I don't know the the lore of the Court of the Dead. Uh, I would love to uh, learn more about it. But uh, you know, in terms of board games, uh, I know a lot of people play uh, a lot of board games. Like uh, I have a friend that plays the X-wing uh, Star Wars board board game. Um, I'm curious to see how you play it and see uh, if there's like an explanation of like the backstory to the Court of the Dead. I would definitely pick it up. You know, to be honest, if they if, if it was something like that. But, I, mean, uh, I mean, to be fair, as long as I get to be the top hat of the dog, I'm fine. I don't mind. As long as I get to be either of them, I'll play it, so that's fine. Uh, we had a new, another art print announced this week. Two more left. We, uh, this is by Brian Rude. This is The Drifter. This is obviously Daryl from The Walking Dead. This is a show that my missus adores, and whenever she watches it, I have to leave the room because I've not watched any any of them, unfortunately. Um, I, know the, I know there's 75 seasons and still Walking Dead, so... Um, so yeah, so this is another piece that need, that if you want to pick up, um, the pre-order goes up on Friday the 30th of March um, between noon and 3pm. So if you're interested in what in The Walking Dead, then get that. If you're interested in the on-frame version, that goes up on April the 2nd. And finally, something that's been the talk for the last 24 hours, we had a Green Arrow premium format was announced by Sideshow Collectibles. And originally we just had this image of the Green Arrow logo now. People have been people, has been spies, has been delinquents, <laughs> rummaged through the forums and managed to find an image of somewhere. I don't know where they found this, and this is the resolution we have. I apologize, people, but this is what they found. Now, I don't know if this is official or if this is real. It looks pretty real to me. But, guys, do if I, I love this, although it's got a Robin Hood vibe about it, but he always has. We've got to just get past that. I mean, Four, what do you think to this? I love it. Actually, I'm a big Oliver Queen fan. Um, I used to read it. I think it was volume two I started reading uh, back in the early 2000s. And uh, this is really re- reminiscent to that. It's, I love it. It looks great to me, in my opinion. Charles, are you, are you in, in, interested by this at all? Do you collect the DC? Do you collect these sort of statues? I, I, I dabble a little bit in DC, and I got to say, I think we've all, and obviously not picking up just because we finally got something halfway decent, I think they did a good job with it. I saw this picture, too, and I was like, you know what? It's not, not bad at all. I mean, you know, again, it's a, a, a preliminary picture. We'll have to see what comes down the road with it. But if they stay true to this line, I, I think they're going to sell a lot of these. Because we've all been wanting a green hour piece. I mean, can, it, I, can, can I just say it's nice to see companies doing different characters? Absolutely, a hundred percent. It's nice to see them getting Finally. into Miles Morales. Finally, so exactly. Your green hour, your Electra. We've got another Electra coming soon. Um, it's nice to see them delving into different characters. I'm hoping they're going to start doing like their Luke Cage and Iron Fist. I, I feel like because Daredevil and Electra have been announced, we're going to be getting an Iron Fist and a Punisher at some point. Uh, we might even get a Luke Cage. They're all, they are coming. Um, this group Bullseye would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Bullseye. Yeah. We need, uh, Fisk, Wilson Fisk, I know XM. Oh, version, yeah. But we, need, we need more characters. People are getting fed up of collecting Batman. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. It's sacred. <laughs> I know. But people are fed up of collecting Batman and Superman and Iron Man. We want we want something with that man in it. Come on, times are changing. People. It's 2000, <laughs> I mean, 2018, women's movement. Come on. Man. I mean, how many Superman and Batmans are out there with Prime One and Sideshow and just oh my gosh! Finally, some something different. Seriously, it looks great. I still need a Flash too, though. 
Oh yeah, Flash. That's we true. That. We, need, we, Flash. Need, we need we need a license Flash as well to come out in one four scale. How, how long has it been? You know what I mean. Um, if you want to pick, keep up to date with the news or any pre-orders or any reviews or anything from our members, we have over 14,000 videos on there. Make sure you check out the Collectiverse website. It's updated pretty much hourly. That's why I don't have a live. Um, so make sure you check <laughs> it out and have a look. We've got chats. We've got event videos. Um, my DC collection just went to Birmingham Comic Con. He put up a video from that. We've got Funker Pops. We've got Art Prints. And we'll have all the coverage from across the uh, Collectiverse over the next week and week and a half. We also have two new websites. We've got a movie site, Big Screen Movies, and a video game site, which we're just starting to get the content together and stuff for. Although the video game site now has just cleared 55,000 uploads. So I don't know. Put, put it this way. Collectiverse has been going for eight months. It's got 14,000. The video game site already has 55,000. So that tells you the difference in video games and collectibles. So, yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, they've been taking up all my time. If you could have told me don't launch these this month because you're going to be swamped, I would have probably took you up on it. So, so yeah, guys, that was the that was the what's new in collecting. A um, new little segment we're going to do, basically filling people in on what's been going on CV. Um, we've got other things coming to keep you more informed, but my time frame has been thrown out because of WonderCon, so excuse me. Sorry about that. Right, we're going to get on to the... Um, there was a little thing, tiny little thing happened last weekend, and I can't remember what it was. I'm trying to think. <laughs> it was something to do with art. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was the Choice Fine Art Weekend happened last weekend. We were there. We had Ian and Chris there. We couldn't find any respectable people to send, so we sent them. We apologise. <laughs> but Chris and, Ian, Chris and Ian were there basically getting all the information. They met up with the man that's on the call right now with us, Mr. Charles Carosa. Charles, how did you think that weekend went? Were you impressed? Were you pleased? Is it going to happen again next year? What is the future for Choice Fine Art after that? And did you goddamn sell anything? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I I did okay. I did okay. Uh, for... <laughs> First, money, money, money. <laughs> yeah. first and foremost, I, I have to thank the CV. Um, you, what what Ian and Chris uh, broadcasted, um, I couldn't be more happy with uh, what they showed. Um, the um, the content that they listed, the interviews that they did, um, all of our artists were very happy to talk to them. Um, what did I take? I, I have to apologize for the hotel internet because the, 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 the stuttering and stuff like that. We're going to get some content to you tonight. So I yeah, you, you don't have to apologize for that because I was telling them point blank that uh, it's it was spotty at best. <laughs> <laughs> best. Um, well, I mean, even on my phone, I was like trying to send messages because of you guys during the show, I'm getting PMs. And I'm like, okay, they're coming through. And then it's they're like, yeah, I sent you that like 15 minutes ago. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, what it, the the event was absolutely beautiful. Uh, Collector Verse for those, uh, I mean, uh, Choice Fine Art for those that don't know. Uh, we do two of these a year. Uh, this was our eighth annual. Um, we do one on the West Coast and we do one on the East Coast. Uh, this year we went back to San Francisco um, stayed at a beautiful place, uh, the Lodge of Timberone. I have to take my hat off to that staff. Uh, everything that they did for us, they went above and beyond anybody that is right. in that area. Anybody that's in that area and they just want to relax and kick back and have a really, really nice time, hit them up. Uh, talk to Kim at the front desk. She is my girl. She helped me out huge, and she the place was awesome. Um, but what we brought, uh, we brought four fine artists uh there uh those of you that may have heard we had uh the great chris clark there uh i finally got a chance to meet him <laughs> very interesting character um he is more of an artist than everybody would really know uh not only could the man paint like it's his job uh but he is a phenomenal singer and dancer uh, believe me if you went to uh the after hours with him you would have saw it was uh <laughs> <laughs> it was it was quite it was quite funny, but uh, he held his own. Um, and then we had uh, Rob Kaz, uh, one of our younger uh, uh, Star Wars and Disney artists, to the group. His painting is unbelievable. It was great to kick back with him because he's a fellow Jersey guy. Uh, he was born and raised in South Jersey, so we we spoke about that a little bit. And just a really really nice guy. Um, and then uh, Jimmy Mulligan. James Mulligan uh, has been a, a Disney artist for over 22 years now. Um, he, he's the character of the group, but it's always good to hang out with him because 
he brings that lighter side to everybody, and uh, he brings that theatrical uh, side to it. And he was great. He, he was a great guy. He's in his painting is also. He brought a new original to this show. It was a uh, a new Little Mermaid piece. And I believe it lasted all of about two hours before one of our collectors bought um, it. Charles, and, I'm just looking. You took people out on excursions. I've got the video up now. You yep. took them to Alcatraz and you took yes. them on wine tastings and stuff. So this is not just that weekend. This is an experience. No, this is this is a this is a, a, an entire experience. We we take our collectors. We bring them to the event. We you know on the East Coast we we do a lot of things in Manhattan. But on the West Coast, we have a little flexibility because they have a little bit more to offer. You know, um, there's my big head right there walking down. The <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, we we did Alcatraz uh, was one excursion. Then we went to uh, the Disney Family Museum. That was great uh, to see some of the older pieces and some of the stuff that, believe it or not, our company actually sold to that museum. Uh, so uh, it was really cool to see that, uh, and then we had uh, the uh, we went to wine country, went to the Coppola Winery, which was a great just kick back, buy a bottle of wine, relax. Uh, me, I smoked a cigar and played bocce for two hours, so that was awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and other than that, uh, we did the Charles Schultz Museum, uh, which was great because we do do a lot of peanuts art at Choice Fine Art. And uh, it was good for our collectors to see that side and see where here here we are uh, just showing up at the Disney Family Museum, and uh, it's in this beautiful complex and oh, it's just just amazing. Uh, there's the Charles Schultz Museum and that man that just panned off to the left. That's the Godfather himself. That was James uh, James Coleman, and to hear to hear him talk. That, that was amazing for me to meet him. But here we are at the uh, the Charles Schultz Museum. The, to see all of these, we're all pretty much the same age, but to see all of these strips of all the stuff that we read in the newspapers growing up and to see it live right in front of you, I got to tell you guys, it was a trip. It really was. See, I don't it know if a, it's licensing, but over here we had, Char it was called Charlie Brown in the yeah. UK. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we it was called Charlie Brown comic in the UK. I don't know if it was a licensing thing with peanuts or what, but like I'm not yeah. I don't I don't know to tell you the truth. I can look into that for you. I'm not I'm not really hundred percent sure on that. Um but it was it was a very, very cool museum to go to and to see where really my childhood came from. I mean I I, I read the, the Bergen record all the time and saw Charlie Brown in there all the time, you know. There's there's everyone. That's everyone there. That was our whole group. Now this blows me away. This yes. Wow. It's just little things like I, I cut all this together from the, oh, look at that. the Ian done because a lot of it is Ian's knees. So, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I've had to cut out Ian's knees from about five seconds. <laughs> we got yeah. wine tasting. This is this is wow, why Ian, this is where yep. Ian's Ian's sled speech came from. Um, <laughs> hey, you said it, I didn't. <laughs> There's so much randomness to like the stuff that they're seeing, and like it's just so it feels like such an experience that they had for the weekend. It doesn't feel like it was just all business. Like no, it was it's like not. yes, there is a business element to it. You're not going to shy away from that. You're not going to lie to people, but no, you do get something just not just for your money. You're not just walking away with a piece of art. You're walking away with a weekend as well. It's a it's an overall experience, Richard. You're 100 percent right. It, it yes, it is a business, like you said. But what we try to do with Choice Fine Art, we try a weekend like this, we want you to enjoy yourself. We want you to come. We want you to relax. We want you to have a good time. Maybe do a, a mini vacation for yourself and make, make this weekend what you want it to be. And then ultimately at night, we have a beautiful dinner. And like I had said uh, before the show started, we had the largest display of art now here here's Ian going around there's James Mulligan <laughs> um, we had the largest display of art in the history of choice fine art okay the art that was brought in for this show um, was bar none and anybody that is a collector of anything whether that that was actually a new piece by James that's Rob Kaz he's actually doing an embellishment on the back of a piece that one of our clients bought and uh, he's doing a drawing right there for them. And that's another thing that we bring to an event like this, that if you buy a piece of art, okay, wow. and we have the artist there, 
they will do a drawing. They'll do an inscription. They'll do a dedication. They'll do whatever they want. Uh, PJ, that's the one I was telling you about with Coldman. That's the mixed media one. Oh, man. That looks amazing. Oh, that's, my Christopher, that's Christopher Clark right there. He did a trifecta for the I'll, new I'll, movie. I'll, I'll want, I want this one for two reasons, and I'm not going to tell you what they are. But <laughs> it's my favorite one he did, Richard. Yeah, she, incredible. She pops off oh. of that wood like it's nothing. That's so all that's a, coming out of the screen. Like, and that's nice. Yeah, that's that, beautiful. That was all uh, Christopher Clark. That was his earlier stuff. You can see the the light. Oh man! Close. When you get up close, you can. That's see crazy. The I want that. That looks. Oh, look at that! That looks Spidey, amazing. Spidey in the rain. Yep. That's that's Brian Rude right there. What you were just saying with the Walking Dead piece that's coming out. It's yeah, good yeah. to see. It's good to see him branching out. And and uh, and going into that, but we had a we had a, as you can see we had a little bit of everything there. Please go ahead, PJ. That that Spider Man piece did that sell? That one that weighs in the ring. The, the Ramita the Ramita one. Yeah, it did sell, but we that was uh, that was what we did under our Marvel Fine Art license. We do have, uh, I believe, it was a run of fifty, uh, limited okay. edition of fifty pieces. Um, so we do have some of those left. I will tell you this. I can send you a picture of the raw canvas of that, and you would be like, it's it's nice, it's really nice. When you frame that piece, it takes it to the next level. That's that's one of my favorite scenes, man. My favorite yep. movie, one of my favorite scenes from the movie. That believe it or not, it was between that piece and the other one that Chris actually bought. Those are those are Rob Kaz. That's his new work. Oh, yeah, by the way, Chris thanks you for ruining his marriage. He's going to be homeless next year. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be living with Yoda pretty soon. He says that the box that he's hired is going to have really good wallpaper out of those. So <laughs> he's, really, he's really happy about that. Like, yeah. yeah, but that was that was really cool to see. All those that you're seeing right now on the screen, mm. those are all Kaz's new stuff from his Star it's Wars It's when line. you get up close that you see the detail. You see the imperfections, which is what makes art art. If you exactly. have imperfections, it's a print. You know what I mean? It's a printout of something. It's a, it's a vector. It's a digital image. But the imperfections are what makes it unique. If, every, if everything was the same, it wouldn't be unique. And exactly. Exactly. And that's, that's what, like, you take that piece that you're looking at right now. I mean, we all grew up reading that book. And it's very hard to find mm -hmm. art for that book. You know, that's what we bring. We bring a variety. You know, anything that we were born and raised on... Choice Fine Art pretty much can can either find the piece for you, get it made for you, or we have it. And that's here you go, Thor. Here, here you go, here you go, Thor. Here's there your wallpaper is. for your, your Death Star room. Yeah, that's wow. sick, man. I just that, can't believe that this is all like charcoal and mm -hmm. it's all pencil. It's all pencil, all pencil. guys. Yeah, wow. It's he, not, how long he uses is it to complete something like that, man. You that I'm glad you asked that because you did ask that question and I wanted to answer it for you. A piece like this now that piece is 72 by 21. Okay, um, a piece like that when he did this, one, this right one right here, here his Gamor his Gamorian guards on this piece, crazy. Yes. When you get these, this video actually does a good thing because Ian got right up on it. But when you really look like at the end over here to the left, Luke's yeah. face is crazy. Gamorian. Yeah. This Gamorian guard. Now, PJ, there's your FET. That's probably one of his oh. best FET that I've ever seen. Okay. That Gamorian guard is stupid. You see his his facial expressions. You his see his facial deep. expressions, and it really, really makes it, you know. Um, but the beautiful thing about this and getting back to what you had said, on those pieces – when Bailey sits down at his easel, if he goes nonstop, he'll bang one of those big ones out in probably about two weeks. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. But that's nonstop. Like he <clears throat> sit he sits at his easel. He's got his beautiful view in Canada right to his left in the window. And and that's that. Now here you see Chris Clark. When our artists come to our events like this, they will do, like I said, embellishments, they'll do drawings, they'll do whatever. Chris takes it up another notch. We just released that print, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's a Jaclay on canvas, so it's a really good piece. But what he'll do is he'll do accents on it. He'll add a little it's, – it's almost like uh, – what's his name? A little blue, a little blue, a little green, a little green. Like he'll take highlights, mm -hmm. and he'll add highlights with his brush strokes on it. And wow. uh, 
Really, really cool what Chris did for his. The other pieces, the other artists, they'll do a drawing, they'll sign it, you know, best wishes, what have you. That Venom is sick. That piece is awesome. That's that's called Pick Your Poison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bit, bit of a close up of the Chris Clark one again. Yep. I that's think that's the, something my wife would say when I, I'm looking to purchase that. She's like, Pick your poison. <laughs> Me or this painting? And I'm there you go. <laughs> all, you, all you've got to say to that is you do not want to know the answer. Just don't even answer it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to answer that here. <laughs> yeah. That was that was Chris Clark's Iron Man right there. Great. And, and you, I see the, the the little imperfections that you know Richard and and you have mentioned, and like you said, that just adds a little uniqueness to the to to the art itself. Absolutely. You know, Charles, yep. seriously, I like this one. Bit, bit oh, that looks amazing. This one, I love this one. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, Thor, that one sold. That was the no, one. That's cool. that, oh, that piece that, you see right there, that's the one that that uh, Jimmy brought, and it actually it sold right away. But uh, that that other one that you just saw, that was a new one for Rob Kaz, and that actually sold too. And during the broadcast, I saw a video afterwards, what you guys were saying with regards to that Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Guys, it literally looked like it was flying off the canvas. I mean, yeah. I had never seen like I'm I'm a Star Wars guy. I'm obviously not as much as you guys, but to see that different Millennium Falcon, the way that it was on the canvas, amazing. So, Charles, um, yes, was are you happy then? Were, were you happy? Were you all happy with the weekend? How it went? Um, do you are you looking forward to next year? I know you can't share any plans next year because it's all probably new <laughs> and under wraps and you're doing just really got off last year. But um, is it going to happen again? What are you going to do? You got bigger plans for next year? What, how do you feel the entire weekend went from your perspective as a business? As as a business, it went very very well. We uh, we got the final numbers and we we did much better than last year. Uh, where will there be more of these? Absolutely. Ari loves doing this for uh for his clients for our clients for the company um because his thing is getting the art out there it's getting people interested that maybe weren't like pj you and i were talking before the show that you have a couple of people that may have just nipped a little bit on the art bug and seeing something like this may get them in it and want them to go to an event like this. Richard, to answer you, yes, we will definitely be doing it again. Like I said in the beginning, we do two of them a year. We do one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast. The East Coast one will probably happen this year in October, I believe. We haven't set a date yet. It's all kind of up in the air with regards because it's right around New York Comic Con. So yes, we do it, it, do it. We, <laughs> Wait, you just want to go, man. I do, man. I'm going to be there at New York Comic Con anyway. Just make it happen, baby. It. <laughs> yeah. I will I will let all you PJ, you're definitely coming to the fall one. There's oh, no thanks. question oh, about it. Like, Jersey boys are Of course, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. <laughs> Darth <laughs> Castle will Jersey be there. Uh, for you're definitely course. coming too. And and you know this, man. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Oh, that's not, no, that's, that's fine. That's not fine. You all go out and sit here and do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, you're more than welcome to come. Uh, the, the one on the East Coast, we stay uh, in the Weehawken area uh, just because of its proximity to uh, New York City, which, like I said, when we do our excursions on, on the East Coast, most of it is in New York. Uh, last year's, we did a few of the museums. Uh, we did, obviously, uh, the Freedom Tower. And all that stuff, and it was it was a great great weekend. Our collectors had a, a, an unbelievable time. Listen, um, I'm already flying out there three times this year. Don't make me come four times. No, seriously, <laughs> hey, you know what? I might as well get a visa already because it's just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, but no, it was all around. It was a tremendous event. Uh, we had a lot of great people there. We had a lot of great collectors there. Um, the venue was splendid and uh me personally to go on the excursions was a lot of fun for me too <laughs> um but um to, just this it, the the beautiful thing about it and this is where i take cv into into it as well is you guys are bringing one spot where all of us collectors could go to see whatever the hell it is that we collect okay whatever it may be what choice fine art does is we have one specific place where all of us collectors get to be geeks together in the world of art. 
And it's a it's another avenue for everybody to share their collections, what they bought before, what they're looking at at this show, and what they're taking out of it, conversations that they've had, and talking directly to the artists. It really makes them feel special in the fact that, yeah, like you said, Richard, it's business, but it's it's a gathering and it's a weekend and it's it's a great great time. So. For our next ones, um, you know, we are we are open. The more the merrier, obviously, to come and enjoy a weekend that you may not think that you would enjoy, but trust me, you will because when you see what we have to offer you, not just art, but in an experience, you're definitely going to take something away. Yeah, and you get fair. and you get art. Ian, Ian said that you only tied him down and moved him twice. So to be fair, it does mean it's not all business. He, uh, he, he is. He is he is gonna let you enjoy yourself for a bit. I do. Time. I do have to give you a refund. Also, I know you wanted me to take care of them and slip my fingers, man. You know they, they from their profession, they they're not gonna drown. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think it depends how many weights you use. Honestly, seriously, the, the, the tides are take Ian right out. He's 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 way low in energy with moving. And <laughs> you, you seriously need to be on the Golden Gate Bridge already, so you could yeah. seriously just let him go. But yeah, I'll, 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 I'm gonna have to deal with him myself. I'll be out there on Tuesday, so um, hopefully right. they'll sort of the final bits from WonderCon. Else, some heads will be rolling. So we'll, we'll I see. I get in on Wednesday, uh, and we'll be setting up all day Thursday for WonderCon. So. Uh, I'll either try to come find you or you try to come find so us. Does that mean you're not coming out on the CD Wednesday night back roll? Oh my god! How can I'll you... be there. I'll be there Wednesday. I fly in Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, we, we, have, we have a CD <laughs> back roll going Wednesday. We've got collections coming, everything. So we we don't expect to make it to Thursday. So you might as well. Be here on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to be alert for Thursday because the one thing that I love that you guys are going to get your hands wet is setting up for a show. Because oh, you have great. you have no idea. <laughs> I saw <laughs> well, I saw your prelim pics of your booth and it looks beautiful, bro. But when you see how much work goes into setting up that booth, yeah. Wait, well, to be fair, to be fair as well, I've got five kids to deal with, so it's like you know what I mean. Just like them running around going, DC collectibles over there. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, we're setting up. <laughs> Can I, can I go, oh my god, Ian, just go and buy something, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you want a Darth Castle out there, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're like the child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and just set you on him and be like, oh, go get. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I can't wait for this week, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, thank you again for Choice Fine Arts, for everything you did for the Collectiverse last weekend, even though they did come back, I, I'm not really happy about that, but, but it's fine. Uh, well, I, really good I weekend. Think it seems like everybody enjoyed the coverage. Everyone, it seems like honestly, I have seen an increase in people posting art this week in the community on different groups. So mm -hmm. that is something to be said that we've we've both inspired a bit more art to get put out through the community. Yeah, okay. that's, I mean, that's that's what it's about, guys. Go yeah, the, to be honest, I was watching the live feed as we were uh, covering the 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 event last week, and everybody was just was like they're was just typing away and asking so many questions in regards to uh, the art that was being posted up and everything. It was, it opened up a lot of eyes. It opened up my eyes. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe how amazing that art piece was. Now, uh, Charles, uh, you know, in terms of like uh, purchasing uh, an art from uh, Choice Arts, do we go to the website? Do we hit you up? How's that work? The, the easiest way to do it is if you want to send me a, a PM on Facebook, I'm I'm cool with that. Otherwise, um, you can uh, you can call uh, Choice Fine Art and ask for me. Uh, the we have a toll free number. It's eight seven seven four two two four six four two. That's our toll free number. Um, or you can hit me up, uh, Charles at choicecollectibles.com. Um, but the easiest way, and because I, I mean, probably like all of us, my cell phone is always on my hip. But shoot me a PM on Facebook, uh, Charles Carraza. Last name is C A R O Z Z A. His, and, name, his uh, name is actually at the bottom of the screen right now. Ah, so it's, thank been, you. it's been there for the entire broadcast. If oh, my bad. First, go out, get your eyes checked, then PM him. If you haven't oh. seen it already, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, but just just hit me up. 
uh, any way that you need to, uh, you can get in touch with me anyway. And uh, especially to CB collectors. I mean, I, I try my best to do anything for our collectors. Um, like I like you see behind me, I'm a statue collector myself, guys. So I'm dealing with fellow collectors. And all I'm about is helping you guys. Okay? I, really love, I really love that Galactus you got, Paradox. You should really pick <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, here man. We go. Here we go. Stirring the pot there, uh, Mr. Melbourne. <laughs> I stole yeah. it from Paradox, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Deal is such an ugly word. Commandeered, sir. <laughs> Commandeered, exactly. Yeah, thank you. He beat me thank to you. it. He, I was no, second in line. <laughs> yeah. Moving on uh, to but... um, topic three. Well, we're, we're, we're getting a bit arted out here, and Paradox is about to go on a big rant about how he can't pick up statues and women. So, basically, <laughs> topic three. <laughs> yes, but he can uh, pick up art in other ways because we do do a layaway plan. <laughs> oh, you do? You do okay. have a layaway plan, yes, do you? Yeah. To, uh, to our collectors, what we do at Choice Fine Art, because obviously if you're buying a big piece of art, okay, mm -hmm. not everybody has 1000 thousand, fifteen hundred, whatever the amount is that you're looking to spend. What we do at Choice Fine Art is we'll do a three-month layaway plan, okay? And what it'll be is we take your, your, your credit card information. Let's say you bought it today, the 18th. We'll charge your card today, and then we'll charge it on April the 18th, and then May the 18th. After that third payment, we then ship you out your art. Okay. So, so you split into three payments, basically. Whatever it costs you, it'll be free. Three Eight. different payments. So. Three different payments, yes. That's and if, if, awesome. if other things need to get done, we're willing to work with you. Wow. That's, cool. that's, that's, if that's you ever cool. have that five-finger discount, just let me know. And I'll <laughs> let you know I wish. <laughs> anyway, moving on to topic three, we have... Um, Prime One Studio have delays again. Oh, um, basically this week they announced delays for the Harley Quinn from Suicide One Third Scale, the Scarecrow from Arkham Game, from the Arkham Game, uh, the Killer Croc from the Arkham Game, and the Batgirl from the Arkham Game, and the Mister Freeze from the Arkham Game. Wow. So, guys, what do we think? I, I want to know. We've covered this before. I want to know, should they be more transparent why there's delays? Should we be saying, okay, well, it's a delay in production, a delay in painting, a delay in, in the factories, in the shipping? What do we think? I mean, it's been a bad week in Gotham, huh? Um, yeah, they definitely should. They, I mean, just let us know something. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's the Chinese New Year, maybe. All the factories are shut down. Just, you know, you got to let your customer know something. We understand it's a business. You know, but just don't come out of the, uh, you know, with no explanation. Oh, your statue's delayed. Um, just keep us informed. That's all we're asking. You know what I mean? You spend, I mean, you know, you had to be prompt with that payment. You know, you had to be on time with that money. So, you know, let us know um, what's going on with our with our piece. That's all we're asking. <clears throat> uh, you know, with the, uh, the delays and everything, I really, as a collector... I really don't mind. Uh, I mean, like you said, Thor, like just kind of give us a heads up on yeah, uh, why why the delay is happening. But I don't know why people are like, oh my gosh, they delayed it. Oh my gosh, I gotta wait. I'm like, come on, guys. Like, it's your own. For me, it's like, I'm actually kind of happy a little bit because I'm like, all right, well, then my, they could kind of spread my, my payment plan a little bit more. And, you know, I don't, I'm not like, oh my gosh, do I have enough money in the bank for, for all these statues? Like, I'd rather have them delay the statues than all of them come out at the same time, rushed and not finished. So, for me, uh, I don't mind. But like I, like Thor said, and piggybacking off of him, is that I'd rather have them kind of give us a, okay, well, we weren't happy with the paint job or, you know, really, you know, the, yeah. the Chinese New Year was a factor. So, yeah, definitely would agree. Like, it's a little bit more transparency. I know First Four Figures does that. Uh, I could be wrong, but I know they kind of give a, oh, okay, well, we, we delayed it because of this, or we had to make some changes. We weren't too happy with the production, you know, the final production uh, uh, photos, so we had to change it up a little bit. So, yeah. I, I, I agree with both of you wholeheartedly. I think, I mean, for, for any company, it doesn't really matter who the company, it could be, we're talking about company X right now. They have to, I mean, look, bottom line is we're your customer. We expect customer service. I mean, bottom line, 
there are delays that happen all the time. I mean, Choice Fine Art has had delays before where we had to say, you're waiting for this. There was an issue with the printing process or framing or what have you. This is where it is. Same thing with statues. Don't just say it's been delayed. Okay, give us something. We need that little carrot. You know, give us a little carrot and let us know why. And then we'll accept it a little more. And then you won't hear all the 10,000 rants on Facebook saying, oh, they suck. They did this again to us, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> just, just give us a reason. Just give us the reason. That's it. That's all we're asking for. We're paying big bucks, especially for Prime One. For a Prime yeah. One statue, you're talking huge money, okay? And we just want to know. And I agree with you guys. A hundred, uh, PJ, I agree with you a thousand percent. I wouldn't want all those in one shot either, because the way that I have done my collectibles in the past, um, you know, I get a statue. You know, Thor, like you did with your Fet. You get the statue. You want to enjoy it for a little while, right? You know, you want to give it, you want to give it its due diligence, you know, sit in front of it, enjoy it. You know, every time you go down into the lair, Thor, I'm sure you look at him, you're like, damn, I love it. And you just look at it for a little while longer. Yeah. Okay. So if you get one and then you set it up and then like within like 48 hours, you have another enormous box showing up at your house. Then you set that one up. Well, now it just took the thunder from the first one. So I, I, I prefer that as well. I, 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 I prefer to space mine out. Yeah, and for me, it, 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 I don't get it from my wife asking another box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, That's yeah. the one thing I'm like, ah, oh, the UPS guy is like, I get one box uh, one day, and then three days later I get another box. My wife is like, what's happening here? <laughs> Where's this money coming from? I'm like, uh, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, really. You gotta learn to find out the smuggling, my friend. <clears throat> you gotta move them, move them boxes across the border unseen, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's hard because I'm always out and about during the day, and then, like, usually uh, she okay. works overnight, and she's home, uh, and then she, I'm like, can you sign for it? And she's, like, signing another package, and <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I said, don't worry about it. It's like, you know, my replacement part. <laughs> it's a big replacement. <laughs> yeah. The box weighs 50 pounds and it's uh it's my four feet by four feet. But it's a new head, it's a new head sculpt. Uh, yeah, you know, they, they shipped me out the wrong body. I don't know. <laughs> In this box three feet tall. What kind of replacement parts? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <gym> box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. I'm sure that it's coming through and everyone can hear me. If they can't, I do apologize. Like I said, we've got new equipment and everything. Um, trying to get it all sorted. So um, my thoughts on Prime One um, delays. I don't collect Prime One pri at the minute, so it doesn't really affect me. But these statues are what a thousand dollars each. Some seven fifty. Mm -hmm. Some seven fifty. I suppose some nine eight hundred nine hundred. Should they be more open? Yes, I think they should a little. Not completely open. Don't say, well, Dave spilled a box, so he's basically been sacked and we've had to think, I don't need any of that crap. But they should say, we've had a problem with production. The paintings took a bit longer than it should do to make sure you get the proper statue that you deserve. I think that would be enough to, to for statue collectors to be like, okay. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they would then be okay with that. Or um we've had a problem with the shipping company they're going to take another month to be able to get the shipping labels correct and stuff blah 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 i think that's enough i think that they only have to do one email to everybody who's, who's affected and that email would say that i think that would put people at ease to be like because last thing people want is for the statue to get lost or the statue to be crap so i feel that would put people at ease charles would you think that's acceptable absolutely absolutely 100 percent. paradox yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's anything that you, you pre-order or any delays, you want to know what's going on, you know? Especially if they're delaying it, like, not two months, but I think the Prime 1 Venom was, like, delayed till October, November of this year. That's a long time. Yeah. 
I mean, if you were to get a long delay like that, you got to share something with us. And, Richard, yeah. I agree. You don't have to show me your pocket aces, but – Maybe give me a corner of an ace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta give us something. Yeah, I think so. I think that there needs to be a bit more transparency in it. I think that we need to know exactly what's going on a bit more. Um, Four. What's the longest you've ever had to wait for a piece? Um, the, it was definitely my uh, Iron Studios Vader. Uh, they delayed it. It was supposed to come out. I want to say August. I think. June, all mm-hmm. yeah, it didn't come out to like October, I believe it was, mm-hmm. and uh, you know they delayed it a couple times. You know, I mean, I didn't really get upset, you know, what I mean, because it was paid off or whatever. But uh, you know, it it was, you know, you're waiting for it, you know, anticipating, and then you know, oh well, we've delayed it, so it's like you know, no explanation. It's just simple explanation, even you know, just you know, that's all. That's all we're asking for. But yeah, that was it's about. Two months delay was the longest one I had. And four, why do you think this five pieces been delayed? Let's say again. Why do you think the five pieces have been delayed? It seems like a lot for one company. Um, it seems to all be the same line. So now we've got Suicide Squad in there as well. I mean, yes, you got the um, you got the Harley in there, but uh, for the most part, that's that's all the same line. It's got to be something with the factory, you know. But that's that's the best thing I can think of. Because most of that, you know, par for the Harley is all the same line, so I'm guessing they're coming from the same place. So uh, it's, it's got to be a factory issue. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, I think it is as well. I think yeah. it's a factory issue. So, yeah, well, to be fair, I just hope they pull the socks up because I feel like collectors spend that much money. They deserve to be getting something good for it. You know what I mean? We deserve to be at least knowing what's going on. So, so yeah, so I hope, the, I hope it gets sorted out anyway. For their sake, more than ours, to be honest, because I feel like that kind of company, that size of company, deserves to be saying more. So, um, anyway, anyway, uh, moving on to the last topic, and we're going to be talking about uh, WonderCon. So, WonderCon is coming up. We, uh, like I said at the beginning, I fly out Tuesday. I'm glad the snow will be gone by then, because we have had literally the beast from the East part too. It's been like um, ridiculous. It's like I feel like I've been slapped in the face by Ivan Drago. Um, so, the, <laughs> so basically, um, but the Russian is cut. It will go tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll be able to fly out on um, on Tuesday and flying from Manchester Heathrow to Heathrow and then Heathrow to LA direct. So um, I'll be doing that. Probably sleeping the entire way because I ain't slept properly in weeks. Wait, um, whoa! You flying direct from England to LA straight? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Shit. How many That's hours so- is that? <laughs> Eleven. That's crazy. Man. Eleven. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's wow. one of those new seven eight seven Dreamliners. So basically, I'm Jeez. flying. I'm flying on. Yeah, there's, there's a Dreamliner, but what what are you adding to make those dreams happen? <laughs> man, I'm telling you, you don't want to know. You I do your wife, my honeymoon. It was seven hours. I thought I was gonna die, man. Gee. <laughs> well, I've done I, I've done a flight to Australia before, which is um t- eleven hours, then fourteen hours. So it's like two That's planes, crazy. two planes back to back, eleven hours and fourteen hours. So, so yes. Yeah, so is that, that what is that what Jason has to deal with? No, nah, Jason's flying from from Sydney to um, to LA. So I think it's like eleven hours again. He goes the yeah. other, he goes the other way. He's over the ocean for the entire time. Oh right, 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 right. He's actually going east. Yeah, he's over the ocean yeah. for the entire time. So, well, to be fair, it doesn't matter because he's gonna get turned around as soon as he gets in customs anyway. So who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> what you doing with this Tasmanian devil in your bags? <laughs> Listen, as soon as they go, why are you coming here, mate? Uh, I just come come for a Comic Con, you know. It's like I'm, I'm collectivist. Like, turn around, mate. Come on, we don't, we, don't, we, we, don't, we, we don't we don't want your kind in this country. Can't talking about like we got a full body cavity search. We got to perform on you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Jason will happily do it with a smile on his face. Yeah, Jason, yeah, Jason will turn up and be like, you don't have to walk like you're in a western. It's not that kind of LA. Like, no. <laughs> so, so yeah, WonderCon's coming up. Um, what can I tell you about it? Okay. Um, we were hoping something would be announced already, but it hasn't. And we've been asked to not announce it ourselves. So I have to be careful what I say. Um, it will be announced this week. I, I'm hoping, God, I hope. Um, been told, I can tell you a couple of the statues that are going to be there. There will be uh, 
R2D2 and C3PO premium format. They will be a Ray premium format. We will have a Hulk versus Wolverine Marquette. There will be some from the Arkham line for um, Prime 1. We will also have a Carnage premium format. There will be some Hot Toys there. We have, um, there's quite a few statues and I'm forgetting what we got. There will be a con giveaway. Um, and we haven't announced this yet, I'm announced this today. There will be a con giveaway. And it's just for people who attend the con. And I can't tell you how they can enter or anything like that because it's for them. Um, and we've gone a bit above and beyond on this con giveaway. And I hope that this works because I've just set this up in the last two minutes. We will be giving away, and I don't know if anyone's ever given away something this big in the community before, but we will be giving away a half-scale oh. re Reaper General Court of the Dead statue. Oh. Which is, I don't know if anyone's given away a half-scale before, but that this is the size of the piece. And we, it, it's a thousand dollars. I want that apple. It's, it is yeah, apple. <laughs> is that apple come with it? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a thousand dollar statue. It will be there at the Comic Con with us, um, and anyone who attends can enter. And we will be giving that away. Um, we'll be drawing the winner on May the first. So if you're going to WonderCon, make sure you pop down to the booth and find out how you can enter to win this statue. But, Does it go for vendors too? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it goes for anybody that turns up. Um, we will have a um, one of the QR codes at the event, so you can scan it if you've got your phone. You can come down and scan it, and it'll tell you exactly how you can enter. Um, we will also have flyers that people can take away with how to enter as well. Um, yeah, we're giving wow. a, we're giving away a half scale cut of the dead piece. Which is, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever given away a half scale piece before, but we're going to do it. We, 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 we're that mad. is sick. Yeah, we're mad to be fair. I don't know why we keep giving away stuff. There's no wonder I'm living in a box next month. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, Charles, would you have this piece in your collection? Oh, hell yeah. The original, the original Reaper, when it came out, I missed the boat on that. And to this day, I'm still kicking myself for that one. I know somebody that has this piece and I saw it. Un believable work wow. in this. And I don't know anything about Court of the Dead. I know I, I know art wise, art wise, some of the nicest pieces out there, including the prints. I give credit where credit's due. The prints that they came out with with that, stunning stuff. This statue is it's one of those pieces that when you look at it, you see something new every single time. It's gorgeous. Wow. So yeah, so if you're coming down, make sure you come down to the booth. We will be letting you know then how you can enter to get to get this piece. Um we will, like I said, have loads more statues. It's going to fill up the entire table. We will have, um, there will be me, there will be Paradox, there will be Jason, there will be Adrian, they will be both from the Odd Couple Statue Review. They will be um, Ian and Chris, obviously Chris from Sif Happens. There will be Jess Frost will be there, the comic artist. She's going to be playing some of her comic art that you can actually pick up at the booth as well. Um, and we will have loads of other people. We put might have a surprise as well coming down. Um, and we're going to be announcing more to do with what's going on this week. Um, so yeah, it's an ama it's going to be an amazing event. It's been a lot of planning. It's been a lot of work. Um, but we've 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 handled it very well. We're very I'm very happy with the entire team how they dealt with it, how they dealt with the the time frame that we had to get this all sorted. The diff obviously when you've got team members. I mean we have a team member now in Japan. We have two in Australia, we have two in the UK, and we have like five in the US. So there, there is team members all over the world. When somebody's going to sleep, somebody's waking up, and they're all annoying me. So just, <laughs> just think about that. That's If you see bags under my eyes, that's why, people. So yeah, so I mean, four, you're not going to be there, but I know you want to be there purely before the bar crawl, but also for the statues. What do you of think? Of course. Oh, it sounds great, man. Uh, you know, when, when the... Uh... When the CV show after uh, post game show comes on, you know you got the conference me and live from the Death Star, and uh, we can break it down. You got to show uh, old Gunner and some Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you met on the bar crawl. I'm thinking, are we gonna a strip club? Well, you, hey, <laughs> you, 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 you can find the hangouts on the phone and just take me to. Eat. Yeah, yeah. You know this guy needs a lap dance, so I can talk to him for you, no problem. Well, no. What I'll, what I'll do is. If I give you 20, can you give the phone a lap dance? I know it's weird, but he's... He is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. uh -huh. Then I can take my credit card and just swipe it through that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, four, $20, PayPal now. You've got my details. Hurry up. <laughs> you know it's the future when strippers start taking PayPal. This. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that, there's, there's a t-shirt in there somewhere. I know there is. Do you accept PayPal? No, I want Venmo. Venmo. 
yeah. <laughs> we don't have flying cars, but strippers will take PayPal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the US. <laughs> oh God. Listen, by the way, there is at New York Comic Con, we're all going to be there as well, and there will be a CV, oh, ho, ho. There will be a, C, a CV party going on, and Four is organizing it, so you don't expect you may end up in jail. It may happen. <laughs> it, it may happen. Four and there will be polls, that's all I can tell you. Four and Paradox are organizing it, and I'm staying well out of it. I'm not going to be an accessory to anything, so if you want to go to this event, just make sure that you... Um, Wear gloves, turn up, and be prompt. That's all I can Bring say. Bring lot of ones so you don't have to go on PayPal. <laughs> Get Charles' face. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm glad I'm going to New York. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> Dancers will be dressed like Darth Talon and uh, Slave Leia and all that kind of situation. I just want to say Collective Earth gonna... just want to say Collective Earth doesn't endorse any sort of male <laughs> entertainment or dancing whatsoever. The the views expressed by our team members in these videos are completely their own. For legal purposes, I must repeat this. So, yeah. <laughs> the standard dis disclaimer. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been an interesting episode. I'm glad Charles has been on. It's been really great to have you, mate. Apologies <laughs> if, you, if my audio changes halfway through. I apologize. I, I, I'm i waiting for an adapter tomorrow for, for the new camera we've got. It's just been bad timing. So I've got a million things to do tomorrow. I've got to get my hair cut, get my um, dollars changed. I've got to go and get my flu shots, get my Jason shots. I've got to go and... Um, Got to go and do a lot of stuff. So I'm eating. Got... I'm eating an Aussie and Paradox, too. and I'm. I think I'm sharing a bed with Paradox as well. So I... <laughs> wow, spooning with Boba Fett. Yeah, <laughs> big spoon, little spoon, all the same spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, he's like your jetpacker. He's just happy to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you, Richard? Ah, uh, Richard went there. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I got a lot of things to do tomorrow. I gotta wash my feet. You know, I gotta wash uh, my iron feet. my underwear. Iron your underwear. <laughs> Where that comes from, I, I don't, don't know. Get that fresh pedicure it. paradox. By the by the way, paradox. <laughs> where, where did your missus find a lead long enough to let you come to LA? Where is it? Is it? You have to tell. You have to let me know how, she, how you get it over there. Oh <laughs> man, she, she put a tracker on my neck, so just in case if the, I. Do you know what? Pat, she'll know where. She was like, I'm worried you're going to end up face down in a ditch. And he's like, yeah, but I'm with friends. And I went, you may end up face down in a ditch. I'm not going to lie. It may happen. I'm not going to lie. I'm not stopping you. If you're face down in a ditch, it's happening. Then it's getting Facebooked. <laughs> so, so. I, I, I'm scared, especially what Jason's been telling me about, like, uh, what they do in Australia when yeah. someone passes out. Yeah, I'm avoiding Jason. <laughs> yeah, do you know what do you know what they're doing earlier when you fall asleep? They deport you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deport uh, Jason as soon as he lands. <laughs> Jason's not even making it through. Jason's gonna go through one of those revolving doors and just literally get back on the next plane. He's not even <laughs> So I know he's probably gonna watch this on the flight, Jason, if you're gonna watch this later. I hope you have a really good flight and I hope that you make it there safe. And if you make it there back, I appreciate it. Come out next time. So, yeah. yeah, can't wait to meet you, Jason. Well, I won't go that far. Don't, no, don't go that far. come to New York, Jason. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a great episode. Thanks to everyone that's tuned in. Um, this is, obviously has not been live this week. We're trying new equipment and stuff. Didn't want to do it live just in case there was a bit of a problem. Um, we'll be back in well next week. Actually, we're going to do a live, hopefully, from one of the hotel rooms or something. We're going to hopefully do a couple of live CV shows and talk about what we've seen, show some footage talk about the event, how we're getting on. Um, half of us will be not sober, half of us won't be. I'll leave that as a, a bit of a surprise to who that half is. Um, and we'll be obviously filming and uploading stuff to the face to our Facebook group. If you go to facebook.com slash groups slash collectiverse, we'll be on all the footage all week to that group of um, setting up the booth, what you can, what happens when behind the scenes basically of a Comic Con and what's going on, whatever they permit us to, sh to film, we'll be filming. And we'll also be getting the scoop on the, the booth that are there we'll be looking at them before any of the public get in there so you'll be getting the first look at all the collectibles the dc collectibles there pop culture shock so you'll be getting a look at all that stuff so make sure you tune in for that um guys thanks for coming charles thanks for being on and um, thanks for having the guys again and i hope that you had a great weekend last weekend i'll see you in october but i'll see you next week as well yes sir you will thank you guys all right guys four thank you very much mate for being on may the force be with you 
always. Get that throat checked out, Paradox. Thanks for being on. <laughs> Which came first, the chicken or the egg? You're going to find out on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a good... I'm so scared. Anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll speak to you this week. Thanks again. See you on episode 21, guys. Speak to you later. Thanks, guys. Later, guys. See Take care. Oh, Charles left already.